in the past, we talked about three methods to measure the spread of a data set. The first one is standard deviation or variance. Second one, z-score. The third one today, which is very important measure and has different types, is called percentile. Percentile basically explains the percent of all the data that are less than or equal to a specific data value. The formula to find the percentile, if we show the percentile with P, is like this, 100 times L plus half E, half times E over N, in which P is the percentile, L is the number of data less than the data point or any data point of interest. E is the number of data equal to the data point of interest and n is the size of the population. Before proceeding to an example to understand, there is one more concept that I give the formula of it and then we move forward. It's called percentile rank. Show it with R, which equals P over 100 times N plus one. So these are two important relationships that we need to know in order to be able to solve the problems of percentile. Before proceeding, we have to understand one concept. So one point is that when we want to find the m's percentile of a data set, this m's percentile splits the data into two pieces. First piece is the lower piece which contains m percentile, m is a number. The upper piece, which contains the rest of the data. For calculating the m's percentile, there are two steps we have to do with our data set. First, we order the data set from the lower to higher. And second, multiply the m percent by the total number of the values. Now I give an example in order to understand how to do that. So as an example, here we have the list of the students' marks in the class. We order them from the lowest, which is 30, to the highest, which is 100. We want to find how much is the 80th percentile or the number, the mark 80, how much is its percentile? So in order to find, we have to find the rank of it. So rank is P over 100 times N plus one. P, our percentile, we already know 80th percentile, which is 80 over 100 times total number of the marks we have, 10 marks totally we have here. So it will be 8.8. .8. So if we round out, round, we can either round it down to eight or round it up to nine, which makes sense to round it up to nine. This is closer to the nine. So we can say that this mark AD actually is the mark is between eight and nine percentile. 
So we could say that the mark AD is between the 8th and 9th percentile. Another example. Now, in the same data set, we want to see what is the percentile of the mark, let's say 60. In order to find it out, we want to see that the mark 60 is what is the rank that it has. The rank is, we have to count from the left, from the lowest one, two, three, four, five. So the lowest one is rank five. So we can say that the rank of it is how much is five. So now the question is how much is, if we remember the formula for that, P equals 100 times L plus half E over N. So L is the number of data set less than the data point of interest. What is the number of data set of interest is basically, we want to see if 60 is a starts from the five, so less than that would be the rank of four. So our L starts from this lower, the first number lower than the rank five. So our L would be four. What is our E? Is the number of data equal to the data point? So how many marks of the 60 do we have here? Two. So E would be two, because we have two of this data point, which is of interest for us, which is 60. So therefore, now we can put it, and N is 10. So we can put the P here in this formula, four plus half of two over 10 the number would be 50. So what does it mean? It means that this mark 60 is the 50th percentile, is the 50th percentile, which means 50% of the data are below 60. So this number says 50% of the data is less than the 60. This is the meaning of percentile. The last topic is about quartile, which is vastly used in data science. Quartile is basically three points that divide the data group in data set into four groups. These three points are Q1, Q2, Q3, or first quartile, second quartile, third quartile. Basically, first quartile is the first 25 or 25th percentile, this P means percentile, the first 25th percentile of our data set. The second quartile is the first 50 50, uh, 50th percentile, so it's not a person, it's a per 50th percentile. And the third quartile is the 75th percentile of the data set. So if you divide your data set, you have this as your whole data set, the first 25th percentile is the Q1, then up to 50% or 50th percentile is the Q2, and the 75, 75th of it is the Q3, and the rest till to go to 100 is the fourth quartile. And we have a concept is called IQR or interquartile range, which is the Q3 minus Q1. And the more the difference between Q3 and Q1, the more the spread of the data set we will expect to have.